Hey everybody, we're going to start off with a quick definition of the consumer price index and inflation rate, and then we'll talk about how can we calculate both of these values based on the changes in the prices of a basket of goods. The consumer price index, or CPI, measures the average change in prices of a basket of goods and services over time. Inflation rate is the percentage change in the CPI between two periods of time. Usually people use a year, you can use a month, etc. So step one is going to be to calculate the CPI, and then step two will be to calculate the inflation rate based on what we calculated for the CPI. A basket of goods is supposed to represent the typical spending for your average household in a country. And in this example, we're gonna break it down into five categories. So we are simplifying things. We're gonna say the average typical household in 2023 in this country spent about $900 on groceries, $1,800 on rent, etc and they really only had these five expenses for the most part that represents the majority of their bill now the weights are going to be determined by these government surveys or these bureaucratic surveys that find what percentage of a typical household's budget went into each category to determine the cost of a basket of goods based on its weights of its components and the prices of each component all we have to do is multiply the weight for each category by the price for each category. And now we have this new column on the right called weight times price. And then to calculate the total cost of this basket, all we do is sum up each of the values in the weight times price uh, column. And we'll find that the cost of a basket of goods uh, for 2023 is 1,000 exactly. And it's not always gonna work out to a perfect number like that. I just did it this way so that it will become more clear in the future calculations, uh, how we're calculating CPI and inflation. Now, instead of just looking at the prices of these goods for 2023, let's include the next three years after that. And we can see that this cost of a basket of goods is generally increasing from year to year over this timeline. Now, with these prices, how could we determine what are the CPI values for each year? Our first step in calculating CPI is to choose a base year. This will be the year that is foundational for our reference point for all of the other years. And so in this example, we're just gonna use 2023 as the base year. And let's start off with calculating CPI for 2023 using the formula in the top right. So CPI is going to be equal to the cost of the basket of goods in a given year divided by the cost of the basket in the base year multiplied by 100. So for 2023, if we are just taking 1,000 divided by 1,000, that becomes one, and then we multiply it by 100, that means our CPI is 100 for 2023. But now here's where things get interesting because we need to find the CPI for 2024. And we can see this with the math on the bottom. So the CPI for 2024 is gonna be equal to the cost of the basket in 2024, divided by the cost of the basket in 2023, multiplied by 100. And so this ends up as 109.77. But how would we determine the CPI for 2025 and 2026? For 2025 and 2026, we just use the same logic that we did for the year 2024. So we take our cost of the basket in the given year. So for 2025, that would be $1,142 and $47. And then we divide it by the cost of the basket in the base year, which is still that $1,000 from 2023. And then we take that value and multiply it by 100, which gives us 114.25. Same logic for 2026. And CPI, you can see, is actually pretty straightforward to calculate. But how would we calculate the inflation rate for each year? Well, now that we have the CPI, we can go ahead and calculate that. Inflation rate is quite easy to calculate after we have the CPI values. Let's look at the equation in the top right that says the inflation rate is equal to the CPI in the current year minus the CPI in the previous year divided by the CPI in the previous year. We can implement this formula for the year 2024 
which is going to say that the inflation rate for 2024 is equal to the CPI in 2024 of 109.77 minus the CPI in 2023 of 100, which would give us 9.77, divided by the CPI in 2023 of 100 gives us 9.77% for the inflation rate in 2024. Now to calculate the inflation rate for 2025, we will just use the same formula that we have been using and we will calculate the inflation rate for 2025 as the CPI in 2025 of 114.25 minus the CPI in 2024 of 109.77 divided by 109.77, which gives us an inflation rate of 4.08%. So the difference here between inflation and CPI is that with CPI, everything was based off the base year of 2023. Whereas with inflation, the base year is basically going to change in the formula every time you go forward one year. So we're not holding the base year as 2023 the whole time. It can shift as we go forward into the future. And finally, CPI for 2026 will be calculated with the same methodology. Maybe you can use your own calculator to determine how did I get 13.42% for that. Well, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you can check out some of my other videos here or here.